Well, I figure my action camera just stopped. It's funny, isn't it? I don't know why, I just quit. Whatever. So I'm gonna get these off the truck so I can go get the pallets that I need. Tiny house construction resumes. Try not to hurt my back. Or my rib for that matter. They were actually pallets of these. Sitting there for free. As it is, I think I got close to 2,000 pounds on here. I figured that was the limit for me, for my truck. foundation for my greenhouse. Uh. These will keep the wood off the ground. are at least 50 pounds a piece. This one here is a standard 30, I think. It's lighter. my oven for the maple syrup evaporator. It's our first room, first serve. I have to do the siding on my house before I do anything else. So, I need those pallets. feathers compared to the big ones. Oh. Oh. Oh, these are heavy. My 
be more than 50 pounds. I know these are 30 because I looked them up uh, online. When I'm healthy and fit, I can carry two of these at a time. seen everything I do. <sighs> There's the only broken one of this whole batch. barrel for maple syrup. those pallets. Gonna start construction soon. Tiny house. Construction resumes.
I just picked up a whole load of pellets with my truck. Well, my action cam was acting up on me all day today. And so you missed all the action I did. I don't know what's going on, but the memory card is coming loose inside. Brand new camera, and a memory card has come loose on me. So I missed out on all the recordings today. I just filled this truck. Recording now. I just filled this truck with pallet wood, and I thought it would be really cool to have the action camera on and my normal camera on at the same time. So I put the normal camera here in the back seat looking backwards, had the action camera on my head, but the action camera wasn't recording. Didn't know that. It made the funny noise like it was recording, but it wasn't. I think my cat was recording. I'm in four wheel drive. This is a muddy mess. pure soup up in here. I'm trying not to wreck my lane, so I'm trying to drive half on the snow so as not to really rip this up at all. And I'm sliding sideways. What a mess. Oh, what a mess. Oh, see, I gave it gas to get up the hill and then let off the gas while I'm actually going up the hill so I don't rip that up. I really don't want to make a mess of this. This is my drive, mine alone, and I'm the one responsible for it fully. So I don't want to make soup out of this. You see where I drove through earlier after I dumped off the uh, cement blocks. Oh, it's a mess. Look at that. It's all soup. I'm just going to park the truck right up here for now. This is an ice skating rink right here. That's it. Parking the truck right here. Not going to move it until tomorrow morning. That's it. That's too much mess here. It's not good at all to drive on. But I'll ruin it. Well, I made it home. Now, sadly, I didn't record all this. My camera wasn't recording and I just loaded this up and I thought that'd be cool, I'll show myself working and record the entire process and it didn't record. See that mud? There's quite a muddy hole right there. That's the problem. My car is not going to drive through here anymore. I can barely walk through here, look at that. It's a mixture of mud and ice now. Because we had the ice storm in the beginning of winter before the snow, look at that. I'm not driving through that anymore. I really don't want to drive on it at all with the truck or anything now. But, yeah, we had that ice storm and then snow on top. And this is what you got. This is what you got left. Pure ice, which is now turning into mud. So, that's it. I'm going to park the truck and be done.